friends, it's Christy back with you on the My Favorite Things YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be making a card using the new set by Stacy Yakula called Happy Birthday Herd. So I have stamped out the two frames that I will be using on some Spectrum Noir Ultra Smooth Premium White cardstock with Extreme Black Hybrid ink. And I'm going to be coloring to match some pattern paper today. So I'm choosing this diagonal stripe from the Happy Patterns 6x6 and just tucking it under my panel so that I can pull my color palette from that. The first thing I'm going to do on these frames is just color in the background really quick. I'm going to do that with BG10. I just want something very simple that the other colors will be able to stand out against. And I find it easier to color in the background first, and that way I don't risk dragging any of the other colors into it when I try to add that later. So I'm gonna use that BG10 to fill in all of the background on both of those two frames. And then I'm going to move on to my cows and I wanted to color them to be Jersey cows today. For some reason I have just always loved Jersey cows and I think they're really, really sweet looking. So I went with E53, E55 and E57 and I am starting with my darkest shade, that E57, and laying in my shadows. Since they're facing completely forward, the shadows are going to be equal on both the left and the right. That way the light source will kind of be, well, it'll kind of be like the camera flash that's right in front of them. So it would be right in the center of their faces. So then I'm moving on to that E55 and coloring over the edge of the E57 and then dragging that darkest color into the mid-tone and taking that out a little bit further. And then I will use my lightest shade, the E53, and repeat that process, just going right over the edge of the E55 and pulling it into this highlighted section. I am going to do a second layer of coloring off screen just to save time in the video, but I find that that really increases the depth and saturation of your coloring and it also smooths out the blend. And I'm going to do both cows in each picture to be exactly the same. So I always like to tell a little story with my cards and in this one I'm imagining that it is this cow's birthday so she is appearing in both of these little photos because she's taking pictures with her various friends who are attending her party. So I'm moving on to the lighter parts of the face and ears and muzzle and using E50, E51, and E53 for those and just filling all of that area in, also doing a second layer on that. And then I'm moving on to the pig. And for the pig, I went with YR00, YR01, and YR02. And I'm starting with that YR02 and doing my light source very much the same like I did the cow, just equal areas on all sides of the face and body, and also any place where the body would be casting a shadow on itself, like the underside of the arms, and then casting a shadow on the sides of the body there. And then I'm going to blend out with the YR01 for my mid-tone and use the YR00, but then I felt like it needed one more shade in there. I felt like it was getting a little bit too orange, so I pulled in the YR000. So I ended up using four shades on the pig. And then for his little nose, I'm just using those lightest two shades. So YR00 blended out with YR triple zero and then I threw a little bit of both of those lightest two shades into the cow's ears as well. Next I'm going to work on the lamb and I have always loved black faced sheep. I don't know what it is about them but I just think they're so adorable. So that's what I'm going to do and I'm using T3 T5 and T7 for her face and while I have those markers out I'm also going to color in 
all the hooves on the animals as well. And I just put the darkest at the bottom edge and blend it up toward the top with the highlight shade. So for her, I laid in the T7. I was pretty sparing with the shadows because I want to keep her face pretty light. Blend it out with the T5 and then use the T3 for the highlight. And then for the rest of her wool, I'm going to use T0 and T1, and I'm kind of dotting it in there to give it that wooly texture, and I'll let that fade into the white cardstock for the highlight. For my chicken, I wanted to switch up the browns a little bit since she's very close to the cow. I just wanted to give her a different tone. So I went with E21 and E23 for her head and then she has a little bit of a feathered section that goes down her back so i used both of those shades for that as it's a really small area and for her feathers i decided to change up the gray tones and went with warm grays so i used w00 w1 and w3 again just so she would have a little bit of a different tone than the sheep since they're all clustered close together i wanted them each to stand out and do be individual. So once I'm done with her feathers, which I again let fade into the white, I'm going to add some rosy cheeks to my animals using R11 and R20 on all of them except for the black face sheep because the R20 wouldn't really stand out very much on her. So for her, I'm using the R22 and blending out with the R20. And then I'm going to start coloring in the different accessory images to match that pattern paper. So the first stripe that I'm going to do is red, and I used R22, R24, and R29 for that. So I'm starting with the red, and I'm going to work my way down through the rainbow all the way to pink. So I'm doing all of the little red things here, the different stripes and dots on the party hats. I'm going to do the first and last banner on the little flag banner that are hanging behind the heads of our critters in the second frame. I also did little um, wattle, or no, it's not called wattle, the little, there's two little feathers kind of sticking up from the top of the chicken's head, so I added that to those, and then also did some of the confetti in the background on the first frame. And then I'm going to move on to my next color in this pattern of diagonal stripes, which is orange, and for those I used YR04, YR07, and YR09. This is a nice bright orange combo that I think matches very well to the bright orange in that pattern paper. And because all of these areas that I'm coloring are so small, I can kind of hop around and do multiple images at once. Then I'm going to move to yellow and I chose Y13, Y15, and Y17. And I'm being very careful to color the stripes on the cow's hat in the exact same order since it's supposed to be the same cow in both pictures. The only thing I did different on the hats was to flip the light source. So on the left picture, her head is kind of tipped toward the left, so I put the shadow there. And in the right picture, her hat is tipped a little bit toward the right, so I reversed it. So the green combo that I chose was YG21, YG23, and YG25. And again, I think these yellow greens are a very nice match for the yellow green stripe in that pattern paper. So I'm just comparing that pattern paper to my Copic color chart and choosing my combos from that. And then after the green is coming the pale aqua, which I did already use for the background. So I decided to beef up the saturation level of this aqua and make it a little bit darker than that pattern paper, just so I have a bit of contrast. And I went with BG11, BG13, and BG15 for all of that. And I also used the BG11 to just add a little bit of 
coloring to the two polka dotted party hats so that they'll look white. And then I used B24 and B26 for the darker blue. And that only appeared in a couple tiny little places, so that's why I just went with two shades for that. I did the top stripe on both party hats, and then the little bit of the banner that is peeking out from behind the cow's hat. And then I also did a pom-pom on the chicken's hat and on the pig's hat, and then a little bit of confetti. And then my last color combo is that pink and I went with RV10, RV11, and RV13. It's a much cooler pink than what I used on their cheeks, so that's why I went with these RV shades. And now that the coloring is finished, I'm going to trim these images out with my paper trimmer into the shape of Polaroids. And then I'm going to pop them into my Misty one at a time. And I'm going to selectively stamp a sentiment so that it starts on one image and finishes on the other. So I'm doing the sentiment that says, let's party till the cows come home. So on the first image, I'm going to just stamp let's party and I'm taping off the rest of the sentiment with a piece of post-it tape so that I only get the, that part of the sentiment and I stamp that down in red ink, and then I'm going to pop the second image in my Misty. I'm gonna shift it over to the side so that I have room for that whole sentiment because the let's party part is now going to hang off the left side. And I'm taping that off again, and this time I'm stamping it with a dark blue ink to finish that off, just to kind of switch it up and make it a bit more interesting. And I'm stamping that out twice on both of them just to increase the saturation of that sentiment so it stands out nice and bold and legible. Then I created a card base using some snow cone cardstock. I've scored and folded that to a standard A2 size card. So it is four and a quarter wide by five and a half tall. And I'm taking another one of the images from this set and another sentiment that says sending birthday wishes from your favorite party animals. I think that's super cute. And then I'm going to go back to that paper pad, the Happy Pattern 6x6. Six six, and I'm going to choose two more patterns to layer on top of that. And I ended up going with the blue wood grain and the green and white gingham. So I'm going to trim all of those down. For the green and white gingham, I used one of the Stitch Scallop Basic Edges 2, and then for the other patterns, I used the A2 Stitch Rectangle Stacks Set 2, so it has that stitching detail that goes all the way around. And I'm going to adhere those to the front of my card using some liquid glue. So I'm going to do the stripe print down on the card base, and I'll leave just a little bit of that snow cone cardstock showing through for a border. And then on top of that, I'm going to layer the blue and white wood grain pattern. I'm gonna put that down at the very bottom, just making sure to line that up straight with the other pattern so it covers it up completely. And then in the gap between the two, I'm gonna add that green and white gingham print. I've added some foam tape to the back of my images, so I've done it completely on one and then I left a corner free on the other so that I can overlap the two images. So I'm going to kind of situate those on my card front how I want them before I press them down into place and that way I can make sure that I don't overlap any part of the sentiment so you can read that all clearly. And then to finish up this card, I wanted to add a bit of bling and kind of echo the confetti that is in that first pick. So I'm going to add some sparkling clear sequins and just kind of dab the glue underneath and then set them into place. And then I'm going to fill in the centers with a bit of extra sparkle. So I'm using my Stardust Stickles for that and just adding a little dab in the very center. And then I will lift this card up to the camera so you can see all of the detail and catch that shine. And I'll give you another peek at the inside as well. 
I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. I had so much fun creating it for you to inspire you. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button and you can leave me a comment down below. I love chatting with you guys and hearing your thoughts. Make sure you subscribe to My Favorite Things for more inspiring videos just like these here on screen. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.